Yo, I hope you are having fun today, because you know what? We are. He's Zach. And he is Dad. And, and together, together, we're, we're Zach, Zach and Dad. Dad. Hey, well, you look a little different today. You do too. I do? Yeah. Wow, well thank you. Is it because I am looking younger? No, no, because you got a hair's cut. Well, yeah, I actually think we've had our hair's cut now for quite a while, didn't we? Because remember, I kept talking to you about your haircut and all that, and now it is kind of coming in fine. I might just get more gray because, kid, you know, because my kids. But anyway, no, you look a little different. I, yeah, boy, is it? No, not a haircut. It's uh, my glasses. Your glasses. Yes, my son. Finally, out of all, we have a family of five. Me and my wife and our three kids. We've all had glasses or contacts, well, for almost ever. He's been our holdout, and finally, he has joined the club. So, sorry that if he didn't sorry. know... Sorry, I'm back. Oh, there we, oh, there we go. I was going to say, sorry if he couldn't read the products, but now he can finally. Is it a new, is it now that, is it a whole new world? Yeah. Is it? Can you see, is it better for the YouTubes? Yeah, it's better for the YouTubes. The YouTubes. Okay. Alright, what are we doing today, son? Today we are going to be reviewing Dr. Uh, Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. Now this is a Spider-Man promotion because they're making the Spider-Man Far From Home, which is like a second part of Spider-Man Homecoming. You mean, you mean they're making it Far From Home, so like if he's based in Seattle, they're doing it in Japan, so they're doing it Far From Home? Who knows? I don't know, that was a little... I think that movie's actually called Far From Home. Have you seen... I mean, we can go off the beaten path here. Have you seen any of the Spider-Mans? Yeah, what? I've seen... Oh, uh, like... I've seen three of the movies that Tobey Maguire was in. I've seen two of the movies that Andrew Garfield was in. And I saw... Uh, Garfield? And I saw <laughs> the Tom Holland's uh, wow. Homecoming movie. What about, did you get to see, um, I'm not a real big Spider-Man fan, um, uh, my kids are, or my boys are, I should say, I have two boys and one daughter, but anyway, um, did you watch that one that just came out a little bit ago, the cartoon, or oh, the computer, yeah, yeah. what the, was that one called? That was Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Have you seen that? Yeah. Okay, so out of all of them. Yeah, I've seen, like, all of them. Which one's your favorite? My favorite one. Everybody at school says that the homecoming one's the best. Okay. But I kind of like, uh, kind of like, yeah, I kind of like the homecoming okay. one. Okay. So give us a like if you like Spider-Man. Also in the comments below, let us know what your best Spider-Man, out of all of them. Maybe you're kind of like the old 80s version or whenever it first came out. But let us know what Spider-Man you like the best. We'd like to know. So make sure you let us know in the comments. Okay. All so right. So, um, is there anything yes. special okay, about this? Okay, let me just say. Yes. Um, you probably shouldn't drink this if you're trying to stay away from sugar because uh. this has uh, 42 grams of sugar. Is there a diet version of this? Nope. Oh. I don't think so. Well, if there is, let us know if there's a diet version because I drink a lot of diet. Yeah, and I want cancer. Okay, now open it up. <laughs> I hope you don't. <laughs> Why is diet supposed to cause that? Well, I think the jury is out on that. All right. Okay. So wait, let's smell. Give it a good smell, Ooh. like like a fine wine. Oh man. Oh yeah. I don't even smell the Dr Pepper. I smell a lot of berry. Yeah. And a little bit of spidey. Now that's for another story. All right, sweet. All right, <laughs> cling, chip it and dip it. When you first drink it, it's like a berry, and mm. then. The after, the after, after is taste. like that, hmm. that after is like the, the, like, the carbonation of the Dr. Pepper. So, first thing when you drink it, it's berry, then it's the Dr. Pepper. Now, are you, do you think this would be better, because we're drinking this warm. Uh, it, we keep our soda in the garage, we didn't put it on ice or anything. Maybe we should have tried that. Do you think it would be different if it was chilled? I don't know, but I like it. Do you like it? I'm going to take home our taste. Do you like this better than, because um, you probably all have drank Dr. Pepper. Do you think this be better than the original Dr. Pepper or should I? It's got more flavor. 
Yes, it is. Uh, matter of fact, I think it's more berry flavor than the actual Dr. Pepper. Of course. It doesn't even... Okay, I would drink this kind of more than the regular Dr. Pepper. I think so, too. Because right. it's limited edition. But mm -hmm. the reason why I wouldn't is because... Uh, because it has 42 calories, I mean 42 grams of sugar, which means I can't really drink a lot of this. Well, that's true. My son is already jumpy. You give him a little more calorie and sugar, we're going to, let's just talk about staying up all night. Um, all right, so, I, well, you know what, we'll do like what, we'll do, a, we don't have to do a spice flavoring, of, or a spice, spice rig kind of thing, of course, but, but let's do a flavor rating. Well, imagine if I brought this to school, drank it, then mm -hmm. I'd be hyper all day at school, like, all day. Oh, you mean more than you already are? Yeah, oh, more, that's crazy. because I'm this already This kid is hyper. nuts, uh, but I love him, I love him. All right, anything else you want to remark upon it? That might be it for the day. For the day? That's it? You might, we're going to go to bed after this, right? Okay, let me just squeeze one and we'll do a flavor rating. Flavor's magnificent. Well, let's let's do a rating together and see what we have here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, ten. Six. You, you are going all the way? Going all the way. So you're, this is about the best soda you ever had. Um, hmm. no, I kind of like orange better. Yeah, well... Yeah, I would rate it a six. What is that's what I rated, right? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. I rated it six. There are to me, I'm not a big doctor. Okay, I'll fan. change it to uh, probably eight. What is your favorite soda of all time? Orange. Orange or Pepsi? You know what orange reminds me of? It reminds me of great grandma. Yes, his great grandma, my grandma. Uh, loved orange soda, and that's one of my big memories of her. But anyway, for my soda, my favorite soda. Would probably be, oof. I do like lime, uh, not only in the coconut, but I also like lime in like a Coke. So I do like a Diet Coke lime, but probably a Mountain Dew, just plain uh, Diet, or like a plain Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew is really, really good too. But let us know in the comments what your favorite soda is as well. And let us know if there's any new sodas out there that you want us uh, to try as well. Now, do I know which one's mine? Okay, great. Excellent. Anyway, so as we move on excuse me sorry about that move on from here how can that incredible family love on this incredible family you may like comment subscribe and click on the notification bell by the description below man you don't even give me enough time to kind of transition here but please click on that bell because we want you to know every awesome thing we're going to do and you know what we're not going to say goodbye but we're going to say see you later because what are we doing next time next time we're going to be trying the sweet and fiery fruit gushers i'll show it to the camera a little bit there we go yes we've never had these before we never tried them we'll see if they're hot we'll see if they're sweet we'll see if we like them so we'll see you on the flippity flop guys take care god bless and have a good weekend Oh, excellent. Or a weekday, whenever you see this. All right, take care, guys. Thanks a lot for being part of our family. We love you. Great. Good job.